This game is still going. Back to <laughs> basics. No, wait. Uh, we're going back to the basics. We're regressing even more. No. Oh, Nobody no. wants to go back to basics, you I, I, stupid game. Actually, Pedro, allow, allow me. Oh, back to the drawing board. I wish. You know, that, that actually uh, reminded me of that. Uh, have you ever, you know, that, that the Looney Tunes short baby bottleneck? Yes. No. You know, the, you know yes. the one that, that mostly primarily uses Powerhouse by Raymond Scott. Well, uh, a lot of Looney Tunes use Powerhouse. But... Well, yeah, yeah, but that, but that, you have to admit, Joe, but that short is one of the best. Come on. Um, um, it, um, that's the one that involves Daffy and the babies. Porky working yeah, at the, the baby babies. factory. Yes, oh, yes. right, I remember now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I love, I love when Porky is in, is is uh, you know, ma managing Shin, whatever, and then this random guy l literally. <laughs> Bursts through the door and goes, Listen, Jackson, I got a great invention. It's going to speed up production 1 million percent. It's a Lulu. And then he, he literally has a rocket on his back. He lifts it up. Then he ex the, the rocket explodes Wally e. Coyote style. And he's like, Well, back to the drawing board. And he goes, And that's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, more bugs. Really? They're not even really upgraded bugs. They're just bugs. Just the same yeah. bugs. Fucking it's Windows. It's a good thing that the goblins do not have any sentinels here. I know, right? Oh no, crumbling platforms! That yeah, that totally makes you this game a like, platform. Seriously, don't you the, know? The, those crumbling platforms take forever to even fall, and there's not even a sense of urgency. Like seriously. Yep. Oh, a scorpion. That's new. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Wait, is that a mechanical scorpion? No, it, because I it doesn't give you radix. Well, no, no, no. I mean, I'm wondering if it's a robotic scorpion because it looked like pieces of it came top. off. When we yeah, it's also, that, that was a frame. Of, yeah, the frame rate dropped a bit while Knack was jumping in that cutscene. Why does the Why do the frame rates frame rate drops during a cutscene? Like cutscenes are like the last place you would expect lag. Uh. Anyway, uh, yeah, oh, just keep going. Oh, oh. This is literally, this, just like the city, uh, like, okay, the city at the very least had an interaction between, um, Mac and Gandahar. This place, chapter 8 on the other hand, is literally, you could literally remove chapter 8 from the, from the game and nothing will be lost. You could just have him get with the plane straight to the base and literally nothing would change. This level is literally nothing but a waste of our time. No plot points will happen in this chapter. This, is this entire the, chapter is just a waste of our time. This is one of Joy the Kong. most obvious padding ploys here. Except, you know, when people do stuff like padding here, see, normally we get something out of it. Like, you know, maybe we'll discover a new member to add to the party. Or maybe we'll discover a new power source that we crash landed here on. But this... Oh yeah, those rocks explode when you touch them, so don't touch them. So you would think that, yeah, those because rocks would be something uh, new, but nope, they can hurt you. This sounds like one of those uh, NES and yeah, NES slash NES games that actively try to troll you, you know. Let's say, oh, you look at this shiny rock. Maybe you can use it some way. Nope, it kills you. <laughs> Not just that. Um, it's not even just that, Jova. Uh, I guess I'll give it something, this game. At the very least, it's technically a new level, whereas in 06, they force us to play with Wave Ocean again as Tails. You know, so the, I guess yeah. you know the sad thing, Pedro? But I still think that 06, yes, despite the repeat of the level, I still found that more fun. Mm. Well, that's because the overall, that's because the core of the game is still over, like, uh, well, uh, it's, it's still more fun because it's, it's Sonic Adventures gameplay, the Sonic Adventure 1, I mean, so it's just a, sh a shitty version of a core yeah. gameplay that is good. That's basically besides, it. Besides, I don't whereas, even want to imagine. this game is just rotten to its core. Speaking of which, besides, I don't, even, I don't even want to imagine what this game will be like if those time spawning uh, black holes just oh appear. Oh my god, them. we're literally uh, dedicating a cutscene to fight. Bugs, the weakest enemies in this entire game. Let's just see, Jova. This is clearly important and exciting. Also, again, the game can't seem to decide are these real bugs or are these robotic bugs? Because now they also yeah. have no. jet Jova, Jova has a point. Uh, one of those bugs was literally having a jet fuel from his ass. I just so I saw, so, uh, yeah, Jova has a point there. What the Actually, fuck was that? Actually, some bugs have something similar to that. Obviously, this is exaggerated for purposes. Nope. Bugs that bugs act like jets in their ass? No, but they can, but, but, but they can, but they can, um, 
uh, ignite their flatulence. So. Well, yeah, but those are fireflies. To, to the, not the, yeah, but yeah, but to the point where they can literally act like little rockets. <laughs> exactly, I find it hard for cartoony purposes. I guess. Again, again, uh. again, again. Also, remember too, the scorpions leave bits of them off of them as if they're robot pieces as well. Also, I love how that door Failed. clearly looks different than the rest of everything else, but you can't open it. Also, that piece was made of rugs just there, huh? Hey. Also, hey, um, you know, Tio, maybe it would be nice if the game explained this life, like, you know, maybe if these were also, you know, created, but nope, these don't get any explanation whatsoever. You know, I mean, they bother to constantly shove into our face, oh, those devices over there look like shards design, yet we don't get any talk about these bugs. But Jova, Charlotte's reveal is the most important one because that's going what's going to sell the story to you. Charlotte's plot twist is so surprising and nobody will ever see it coming. Not it's borderline shyamalan -esque. My main point is like, well, okay, if you bother to have all these unique creatures and bugs, maybe you might want to explain a bit about them. Maybe. Like, you know, okay, see, the reason we aren't asking so much about creatures in Crash Bandicoot is because, yeah, some of them are mutated, but they're essentially animals that we know are animals. Like, you know, we don't need any lore on them, yet here you have these unique sort of creatures with no rhyme or reason. Like, you know, even Avatar The Last Airbender takes time to, you know, explain the wildlife here and there. I mean, not mm. all the wildlife, but at least the wildlife that you need explanations on. And okay, I know technically it's not mandatory that they explain the bugs, but good lord, this game could use some lore if it wants to live up to its own hype of being this huge yeah. story, world building game. Why couldn't we have like uh, the professor chatting with the like intercom to Nack uh, all the while kind of telling you? Because remember, this is technically Nack's first traveling through this world. I mean, uh, as soon as he was discovered by the professor. Uh, at first, he was only living in the laboratory. So technically, we, all this stuff should be new to him. So we, we could have got like an like professor narrating what this stuff is. Oh my god. It, it doesn't even get out by the fact that Nack in little form does not talk at all. As a result, this these levels become such a fucking lonely experience. Like. It's like, uh, okay, 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 you know what, for example, a more recent e example, in Sonic Forces, in levels like Eggate, you actually have Sonic quipping about sections of the stage, which helps mm -hmm. breathe life into it. Why not do something like that here? Oh wait, that's right, because Nat can't speak when he's this small, and they don't even explain that. Also, Pedro, I noticed something. Uh, you noticed how you know um, how the level allowed you to proceed by having an enemy break down that wall of boulders? Uh-huh. Well, apparently the enemy that broke down that wall of boulders was a tiny little beetle bug. All on its own. <laughs> <laughs> we <sighs> Surfing on this random crystal position, but Let me... there's no explanation at all. And... Also... Bye, Goblin. Mm. Yes, Jova? Uh... I, th I think Jova's run out of things to say. <laughs> no, no, I had something else, but I forgot because this game's stupid. And it's drying. <laughs> oh, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. You know what I mean? You know what? Heck, even games as old as Crash Bandicoot and even older, you know what they did? They told a lot of more lore through the manual about stuff. Like, seriously, the fact that games that rely this on... This is modern stories. This is modern Sony, Jova. The manuals are not allowed anymore. Yeah, I mean... I mean, look, I get that, you know, it's nice that we don't need manuals anymore, but, you know, manuals are still nice to have, especially for those... Reminds me of that clip, uh, I think it was in Nightmare Creatures of Kadikarus, we short for comparison to the manual and then the one of Last of Us Remastered, which is like one paper with the controls and that's it. That is kind of an issue, it's like, oh, you know, like, oh, okay, it's nice that we have games geared so that you know they can teach the players properly, but we never needed to get rid of manuals in general. I mean, I understand paper printing and some shit, because they assume that uh, readers, uh, the players do not read them anymore, but I I don't know. I'm not sure that the, you know, the uh, confrontation between the two things is enough to justify just the complete, almost complete removal of this thing. It's, a, it's, yeah. also, it's not just a thing that, oh, maybe this game or only The Last of Us make. Practically, again, every major Sony game now, nowadays has this thing. 
Oh, oh shoot. I, I don't necessarily mind it as long as the story is well told in the game itself. But, but yeah, I understand. True that, but also there was also the fact that uh, you remember outside of maybe not even maybe the story, but a lot of characters like had uh, major characters uh, bios. You know, those also helped. Here, yeah. no such a thing. So it's a. Oh, I, mean, I mean, hell, even your even your Kai Watch, which is a wacky comedy show, it introduces technically introduces new lore every episode when you get when you think about it. And for a comparison, since it's titled that uh, Nintendo games are seem to be the one who still gets uh, you know very meaty uh, manuals out of their games. Yeah? Go ahead, yeah. uh, Joe. What you were saying? Um, so those um ruby. What are those ruby? -looking I don't know. Crystals? The game doesn't explain it. <laughs> but anyway, explosive so, rubies. But from what I can, rubies. but from what I can understand, um, so um, just touching them doesn't make them blow up, right? You actually have to punch them, right? Uh, no. I think if you, if I remember correctly, yeah, you you, you can hurt if you touch them as well. I huh, think hey, it's I, been a while. I could have sworn you jumped on the one of them. I did. Oh my did God! Not. You just impaled that guy on a stick. Uh, and now he's gone. Too bad, I don't care. <laughs> Mac has I, can't now been I, can, I, I can't believe that goblin is fucking dead. You know, I, I just realized <laughs> How will so, we ever cope? So I just realized so, Pedro, out. those ruby crystal bits are this game's oh, answer. And now you can talk with the radio, please. Uh, <laughs> wow, this game is really... Inconsistent. All the fucking well, time. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Inconsistent's too nice a word. Yeah. All right. So much like in the um, in the goblin camp, now we ha I have to go for free route before I can move on. Because we need to open the gate and everything. So, I, so, so we can open the gate and destroy the cannons and all that shit. And now the music is trying to go crash Bandicoot on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that goes about reminder. Say, reminder that the game that came out like. <laughs> Two year before this, it's like Cooper Fusion Time at a level where I'm using like this, but it was way infinitely way more charming and justified in that case. So yeah, so yeah, this is kind of like Crash Bandicoot, only well, not as good. Yeah. Hell, hell, even even oh, Crash Rafa Cortex for the oh, Rafa Cortex is a better soundtrack. Oh well, 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 absolutely. Just I mean, Rafa Cortex soundtrack is definitely the one thing that's consistently good across. Um, the game. Who was the composer for that? Uh, two British composers, actually. Who? Um, Andy Blythe and uh, Martin Jalstra. Basically, but the, the, nowadays they're mostly TV composers. After, after, funnily enough, after Crash, after uh, after Rafa Cortex, they did the. Music for a Saturday morning um, show around here in the UK called Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. <laughs> Similar to how that guy who composed for Spyro used it, one of its tracks uh, for a TV show, talk show, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh also that. no! A gate that Nat could easily slip through! <laughs> yes, that's actually a good point. It's like that uh, scene that Doc commented on the adventures of Sonya Hedgehog. Yeah, exactly. Sonya just can fit through yeah. those bars. Yeah. Oh, well, fun funny enough, uh, the, the two guys who did the music for Rafa Cortex also did stuff for um, the Mickey, for t the Toy Story game um, and its sequel. And well, even weren't the uh, wasn't still made by Traveler's Tales, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah basically, their forte was Traveler's Tales games. Oh, yeah, the Finding Nemo game. But funny enough, they played. weren't in, which is, which is funny because because Twin Sanity yeah. was also done by Traveler's Tales, albeit a different branch, and yet they weren't involved. Spiral. Now. It, uh, it yes. Spiral. Man. Yes. It tail. Remember Crash Bandicoot? I wish I. We was. don't need to. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, hey, T, Twiz. Oh, remember, Joe, this was back in 2014, so a a as of this time, it yeah. counted. Yeah. yeah, Trevor? Well, reminder, yeah, this game was supposed to scratch that Crash Bandicoot. Alright, oh, yes, Trevor? Speaking. Mm. Ah, shoot, I forgot what I was gonna ask you. You're mentioning something about Twin Sanity. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about Twin Sanity. Dibs, I have to wonder, um, if Twin Sanity does get that remake, which could be very well on the horizons, how do you, what do you think they're gonna do for, you know, music if, you know, they include some of the cut stages, since Spiral Mouth are kind my, of, uh, you know, split my, up. Out of commission. My, um, 
my what what I'm wondering is whether they still have the master audio. We know that they and, have. And we know that they have the audio for some of the tracks, since you know those tracks showed up in the credits as well. They're, they're probably stored in like some 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 cellar at Traveler's Tales. So. Well, yeah, I guess my big wonder is like, well, if they have new stages, or heck, they make new ones that don't have music for them. I wonder how they're going to, you know, continue Spiral Mouse style. They're probably uh, just gonna ask another a cappella group and probably, either probably. Re, re, and either redo the entire soundtrack or do something else. That would probably be the best option. Yeah. All right, one cannon to go. So here's my question. Yes. You Go think ahead. that these giant anti-aircraft stations would have better security, or you know, be able to fire on Knack from afar? Hmm. Well, that's a trick of Drova. Anti-air cannons, by their own nature itself, are not suited for fighting incoming units on the ground. So it makes sense um, for them to be countered with infantry assaults. Oh, I know that, but there was, uh, remember too, there was earlier a scene where Knack was on the cliff overlooking them, and they could have actually shot at him from there. I guess. Ugh. Also. Oh, and by the way, Pedro, I'm, I'm guessing those quick sends are like one in here. No, I, well, I, I don't think they are. If I remember correctly. No, no they aren't. Uh, he's been in some and jumped out. In fact, do they even kill you eventually? I think they do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, they, they only slow time. Okay. So it's a, it, it's typical video game quick send. Mm -hmm. There are so few enemies in here. Yeah, for what's supposed to be boring. a stronghold. And um, and allow me to remind you, this level is a, is a complete waste of our time plot-wise. Nothing even... nothing is gained. Oh. A, a, a big pile of nothing. You... like, seriously... Going back to the rush development, since you keep bringing it up to... For the sake of the rush of development, Mark, couldn't you just omit this? And yeah. use the time that was done working on this level to actually, you know, making the rest of the game better. I mean, yeah. you know, Rust development is one thing. It's just the fact that, yeah, there are some clearly padded out things here that kind of are the antithesis of rushing. Like, at the point it makes you wonder, wait, did they just waste their time on these bigger ones and that's why they had to rush anything that's actually more fun? Hey, Doctor, take a look at this Guardian. Take a look, take a look at these cliché. Ding. Wait. Yes, it's what, can you see it from Nax eyes or something? To Probably. To the Guardian's neural matrix. Hello. He's under their control. Uh, Whatever the hell yeah. that means. That wait. Too. The oh. neural matrix. You the giant box of wait, so the, wait, is this you Guardian supposed big, to be like... Right? That's exactly the thing, uh, guys. That techno bubble that the doctor just threw at us, the game just shrugs it off, and there you go. That's it. We never bring that up again. So apparently. Also, so you don't know how the game teased you by having the robot turn into you, like, like almost as if it acknowledges you, but then just move away on its own. So let yeah. me get this straight. Apparently, the guardians are mystical elements from down and underground. Don't worry, Jova. We'll get the explanation in the sequel. I hate that we have to wait that for that. <laughs> Sorry, Joba. Mark the credits. Now I'm actually more into what Pedro said earlier. The goblins really do get all the cool toys. Yeah. And they're supposed to be the dumb ones. That's exactly the... It, it, it's, it's like Jim said in his uh, impression. It's one of those things. The, you know this... Oh, cutscene. Oh, Jim did a uh, uh, position video Katrina, on this. When you proposed that we uh, a review of NAC 2, yeah, but for us, I was more than a little skeptical. Um, skeptical is spelled with a K, truth. you Amazing, idiots. <laughs> Maybe that's how they spell it in Japan. I don't know. No, 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 no. This, I was actually this was written by Mark. Mark wrote this. I was actually wondering if that's how they spell it in Europe, but I guess not. Then we can swoop in and take it. In the meantime, you'll have a chance to finish a little project here. Yeah, that's another thing. That little project thing, that never brings it's it. It's never mentioned yeah. again. That's never mentioned again. Also, Joyful. why did you have a cutscene in an area that's not even related to where they are? Because Mark thought that the game was getting too boring, so throw in a cutscene. Wouldn't it make sense, you know, have that cutscene be, you know, before or after this level? I. Or, or, or even better, instead of this level, just have the cutscene. There okay, you go. Story Nobody wise. cares about this level anyway. Oh look guys, platforming! Okay, you know, I hate to say this because the platforming... <laughs> See, the platforms actually do bring platforming, but I'm sorry. The problem is that, when you think about it, 
the way these platforms are don't make sense in context. Like, why are they moving in and out here and there? I have no fucking because idea. Because because we need platforming. I mean, normally Maybe I wouldn't make a stink of this, but again, this game once. Well, me to the, the way they look, Jov, it reminds me of those, you know, uh, things that you use to separate heavy uh, sand from uh, thin sand. You know what I mean? Yeah, filter. Yeah, filter. Yeah, kind of like yeah, another... the, one, the ones used for the gold rush. Yeah, yes. yeah, another part of a thing we'll never get. Here's the problem, though. Yes, yes, they look like that. The problem is and that that's they're it. not. that's platforming over. The problem. <laughs> The problem oh, is, never mind. Never mind. We get this the, one. This one more. The problem, the problem is that a lot of these so-called filters aren't lying over like a deposit area. And the yeah, problem true. Is just standing there the problem is that they move exactly like what we're supposed to be, but ugh, just weird placement. Again, it's this game weird. confuses me more than making me rage. They're, they're, you know they're just here because platforming reasons. You know what? You know what's sad in the world? Crash Bandicoot for his little actual spoken story they had, and I'm talking about the first game. When you think about it, the platforming, actually does make sense with the environments. <sighs> like, god dang it! How hard yeah, is the, it? Yeah, the, the whole so native civ the native civilization architect there you actually go. makes platforming sense. Is done. Even in, levels like sun, like even in levels like Sunset Vista, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And stuff like the machinery levels made sense. Like, seriously, look. If Crash Bandicoot, and I'm talking about the original Crash Bandicoot, and heck, the remake didn't even the remake didn't even have to change much. If Crash Bandicoot can, you know, at the very least, have, you know, an engaging enough story. I mean, the narrative isn't the biggest, but it's an engaging enough story and experience. Why can't this game with as nice a budget it had? Mm. Uh, Incompetence as Pedro pulled out multiple not, times. Not just that, but Mark clearly has no vision of any yeah. kind. This game, like he, he's just making a, uh, like seriously. I mean, you get you you have support of a huge company, and you can't bother to try to make okay. Just make. Did you even? The sad part is that when you actually hear him talk in interviews, it, it really seems like he's passionate about this franchise and. So, so I don't understand. This is this is him work. This is his passion project, really. This yeah. is it, Mark. This is what you have to show for it. I mean, another weird yep. thing is like, well, yeah, you know, there's story in this game, but when you think about it, the game does not really use its cutscenes that much. I mean, there's story, yes, and you can tell that it's a story-driven game, or at least tries to be. But you know, for as much gameplay as there is, there is a very weak ratio to cutscenes. Like seriously, you think that they would have dialogue going on while the characters are moving? I mean, oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. Even Mighty Number no. Nine knew to take advantage of being able to speak during stages. And don't get me wrong, that had problems like Mighty Number no. Four stage where the text box can. <laughs> what? Insta kill electric wire. How are you supposed to know I... that's an? How are you supposed to know that's an insta kill? Actually, well, I don't know if it's an insta kill or it's just. <laughs> oh, oh wow! A fan oh. pushes me toward it. Uh. How is Fuck that? You. How is that fan even powerful enough to push you? Like he's heavier than that, I'm sure. Okay, let's try this again. Basically, keep yourself oh. straight tight to the wall as you can. Basically. Oh, that is terrible. Ugh. Uh, God. Uh, you know. And now we're flying. <laughs> and by the way, those things are also insta kill. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me of it. Oh my God, these movements. God, Ugh, I'm reminded. I'm gonna barf. I'm reminded of Bubsy 3D with that. Yeah, the the. <laughs> of all the gate. Okay, congratulations, Nat. You have got the platform. Congratulations, Nat. You have reminded me of Bubsy 3D in one of the worst ways possible with the top-down camera when you so much as jump or glide. And you know, now that I think about it, he kind of looks like a fat cat when he gets bigger. Um, it was missing, actually, the, missing the exclamation actually, point t-shirt. Uh. That, that actually reminds me, um, um, when, I, when, when it's time for me to record that, could you guys buy me a sick bucket? I'll probably need it. Considering the camera. I'm guessing you're probably just gonna stick with the bad ending and for the good ending to YouTube that. Yeah, there is no way I'm spending all that time collecting bloody rockets. 
It's a good thing that every time Nak gets propelled towards another area, the platform just conveniently just closes. Here we go again! Seriously? Oh my god, seriously. What's even the point of these? Yeah, you have to avoid those things. Ooh. Variety and shit, Jova. Despite uh, the aside so from Bubsy, it, it from also you. you have to suicide yourself practically. There's not even aside a from Bubsy, to that, them. Jova, aside from Bubsy, that you also reminds me of the. You have to suicide yourself, Jova Hex in 2017. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> it reminds me also of the jetpack from Crash 2. Well, cra oh yeah, okay, but jetpack from Crash 2 was definitely not of the. That was definitely not a fondly remembered thing, but at least, at the very least, there's some sense of purpose to that. Also, Joe, not for nothing. Uh, I think the way you're supposed to say it is, you might, you sh you might as well commit suicide, not suicide yourself. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's how you, how you use that verb. It's, it's a game. It's a game. It's a gamer term, yeah. you know. Suicide. But, um, so. but hey, but, but hey, after I've done three D, really? Can do no I'm kidding. Yeah, 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 so Bob's just game, so. the holy spikes back, yeah. I oh, think, uh, guys, you know, Jova, guys, I just realized, guess, Jova. Guys, guys, the goblin cave. guys, there are yes. relics. I mean, well, Knack hopes that there'll be relics in the cave. Holy crap, I'm already decreased. Mm, fucking health system. Go ahead. I love how they actually dedicated a cutscene to Knack saying, Professor, there's a tunnel. I hope there are relics in. And... <laughs> That's it. Okay, you were saying, Pedro? Uh, I'm sure the accountants at Sony love how money was spent in that cutscene. Like, seriously, <laughs> like, like, seriously, okay, I mean, I get that Sony like to support a lot of people, but surely someone must have looked at Nack and thought, wait, so this is the goal. Town? Like, like I theorized, Jova. Uh, yes, I can actually theorize, unlike a certain other game I can make. Um, uh, like I theorized, Jova. This is his reward for making the PS4 such a great console, I guess. He gets to make whatever he wants to make. I mean... But unfortunately, low sales might have might have hindered that um, ability. Maybe for good. I mean, let's be quite honest. The only reason Knack sold that well was because it was a launch title, and well, people were hoping for a cartoony mascot because this was kind of at the time when people were afraid that Sony I'm, were I'm moving away from the I'm also guessing Sony didn't uh, was very discreet uh, with the review and the reviews and everything before launch. Mm -hmm. think, think about nice. it like think about it like when Mighty Number no. Nine used to be all hot stuff. It's like at that time. Capcom was apparently treating Mega Man the worst possible. There was no Mega Man fix other. It's like when that came out, yeah, people were hungry for a cartoony Sony game so much as a platformer. We were missing out on Crash because, yeah, you can tell there's a lot of Crash stuff like in this. It was a different time. It didn't excuse the game. Yeah. But, but, but to, uh, yeah, but 2017 was uh, filled to the brim with platformers, both 2D and 3D. So, Knack 2. It's just, it's just a mediocre one more. I mean, we've had the revival of Crash Bandicoot. We have Mario Odyssey. We have Sonic Mania. We have Sonic we Forces, have and now we have even, Yooka well, Lally. at least Mega Man. Half in time. And now we even have Mega Man coming back as of now, at the time of this recording. It's like, wow. Yeah, Spyro, don't want... Spyro remake, please. <laughs> IRL. You were saying to you? Yeah, also Bobsy. <laughs> well, Bubsy is um, Bubsy might be put back in the no, grave. No, the, 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 the sad part, Job, is that more people might have actually cared more about Bubsy than Knack too, because at least oh. Bubsy too has its reputation. Bubsy has the the whole internet reputation going behind it. All Knack has is donkey memes. And considering the sales records of Knack too, Pedro, Bubsy yeah. might have sold better. And Bubsy, yes, Bubsy, yes, we live I'm in a be time where. Uh, a Bubsy game sold more than a game made by Mark freaking Cerny. A first party Sony game. Yeah. But, um. But, what was I gonna say now? Um, but, but. And, and yet, for some reason, this was. But the new Bubsy was charged at the same price this game was. 40 bucks. No, um, I mean, 30 bucks. No, for, 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 yeah, 30 actually, dollars. Then, actually, this game costs 40 bucks, or at least costs. Sorry, I meant mean, I mean, NAC 2, sorry. Knack so, two, how yeah. are you gonna get from the. Oh, cuts you. Yeah. Obviously. Well, 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 here's the thing, Dwebs. NAC 2 was supposed to cost 40 euros. And that but needed. Then, but then, but then, uh, those wonderful two hours of launch in, so, in, this, in the European store happened. So, um, <laughs> 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 Yes, Joe, okay, go ahead. That long gap in the bridge needed a cutscene, why? Really? Because, uh... You because... know, it did. 
I mean, why not just have the bridge be intact? It's not like you need that to render stuff properly, unless this game is horribly optimized. That's just the thing. I was already, I was, I was already planning on doing Knack for the channel for quite a while, but I was waiting for. Okay, I guess since there's a sequel coming on, I guess I'll wait till the sequel decreases in price so I can get it for a lower price. And then that happened. Okay, never mind. Now I, I might as well just start now. <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh, you mean the Knack. sales figures for Knack 2 came in? No, no, no. The fact that Knack 2 was free on the European store for oh, yeah. the first two hours of its launch. <laughs> I forget if that was by accident, but it... it... Accident drove us. Sony is notorious for getting hacked and having all that weird shit. Rem 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 remember, remember, oh, Joe. Yeah, but... Dwebs well. here, ma here managed to get Uncharted Lost Legacy for free because Sony made another mistake. Yep. <laughs> oh, Sony, Sony, Sony. Hey, 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 that loss is my game. Hey, 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 hey. Look at, look at it this way, Jova. Um, at the very least, when Sony fucks up, it's hilarious and kind of advantages to us gamers. When Microsoft fucks up, we get stuff like what happened to Frazier when he tried to play Cuphead. Oh yeah, the controller. <laughs> for, 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 for people who haven't seen it, go to YouTube and check Cuphead Meltdown. Basically, Frazier attempts to continue his Let's Play of Cuphead because the, he, he's been trying to play the PC version, but there's been some glitches uh, that fortunately Which now they've been patched. Yeah, they made a patch. Uh, they, they, they've been patched since then, but, but for the sake of avoiding more shit, he decided to buy the Xbox One version instead. You know, cause, <laughs> and let's just say, everybody, go watch Cuphead Meltdown. And let's just say it's not pretty. And he swears off Microsoft forever after. Yeah, because really? Not, it, well, it, and uh, you have to understand, hold on, Tim. You have Sorry. to understand, Joba. This has been a long time thing. Ever since he bought the Xbox One, he's been getting almost problems non-stop with that console. Just basically, Joba, go to Video Games Awesome Xbox One, where he bought an Xbox One on launch day, and he tries to show off the console so he can properly review it on camera, and they ran into so many problems with the Kinect, and the game's not working, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if but I recall, he's normally a, you know, a chill guy, he doesn't swear too much, if I yeah. recall. I mean, seriously, I mean, no, seriously, no, he was... No, well, that's, that's exactly it, Tail. He yeah, doesn't that, that, that's what that I mean, he just he, lost his shit. Not he only... doesn't rage much, which is why when he does rage, it's so special and let amazing. Me put, <laughs> let me put like this, Tio. Video games were awesome. They did stuff with the Xbox One, and even despite its problems, despite the DRM stuff, which was a huge controversy, they were one of the few people who did not rage against the Xbox One. I mean, yeah, they talked about the problems and stuff, but they never really had the amount of rage that most of us had at Microsoft at the time. So. Well, it was more like it was more like this: like back when they when Microsoft when Don Matrix showed up and did the most atrocious console reveal of all time. That, yeah, in the thing that posted his entire career. When when that happened, yeah. uh, Frazier's reaction was, "Oh my god!" Because he saw it live. Oh my! He literally turned to the Twitch chat and he went, "Guys, you can't buy it." You can support the Xbox One after this and stuff like that. And however, after they did the 180 thing where they went back on all the DRM shit, um, he, he he started the the, the, the launch uh, show saying, "Okay, Microsoft, bad start, but it's nice to see that at the very least you decided to you know go back on that shit. So let's try to be fair and give it a no, and but, trust but, me. But, and, and, and you'll see when it's trying to make the connect work, he spends like a full two hours trying to make the connect work because he, he, he claims that he doesn't want he doesn't want any Microsoft fanboys to claim that he didn't try his best to make the fucking thing. So work. you're telling me hey, that? Hey, but don't but don't worry, too. The guy went on to work for Ouya. Uh, Ouya. Which is like now the feed, like so, the font as a company because no one cares anymore about Farmville. Are we talking about the Ouya? Yeah. No. Oh no, yeah. The yeah. Oh wait, there was also a company called Ouya. The guys who made Farmville draw. It was so, it, it was so hilarious. Like what, what what was supposed to be a two-hour session of Cuphead ended up being a seven-minute video of Rage. So let me get this straight. <laughs> Something. So let me get this straight. Something in a single-game Cuphead is so bad that it's actually gotten him to swear off Microsoft. Okay. No, 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 no it's, it, it, it was the last, it, it's not it so much that, job, it, it was the last straw of a long run thing, the thing ever since he bought the Xbox One, Job. It, it, trust me, if you, if you, if you, if you need to have a greater context to realize why he reacted the way he did, tr trust me, it's warranted when you actually, j just go back and watch his videos, they're all still on the channel. Uh, and you'll see why. Why it's. I it's watched quite, quite a bit of his videos, but I'm guessing it's like. Oh, good! You were fighting one of the guards. It's the Xbox now. One specific ones. Yeah, j just check out um, Xbox One Awesome. That's uh, where he an entire show where he sh reveal 
reviews the Xbox One on camera showing off all the menus, the, the launch games, the Kinect and how it works, how Skype works, all that jazz. It's not so Crazy. much a review of the game, it's more so a review of the console itself. And uh, that, like to give you an idea, when he's trying to install Rise Son of Rome, the game uh, start, starts installing for like 15 minutes. And then after those 15 minutes where the bar is still progressing in the installation, then suddenly the installation stops. Why? Because the disc could not be read because it might be damaged, even though it's a brand new disc right out of the box. I mean, you know, it's a miracle that the Xbox One has not become like the new Saturn. Even though I'm pretty, I mean, it's not like I've said various times. It's like I said various times. Every time I start shitting on Microsoft, everybody starts saying, "Oh, you're just a Microsoft hater." Every time someone calls me a Microsoft hater, then my response is, "Yeah, I Why am. Aren't Why you? aren't you? Why aren't you?" <laughs> like, seriously, Microsoft have given us no reasons to give them praise. I mean, okay, okay, okay. To be fair, okay, I will say that you know they have helped support some games. Cuphead. That's literally the not only just, one I can come up and I can think not of. Not just that, but the fact that we were at least generals to, you know, had the whole PC uh, thing for Xbox One games because they could have as still have the shitty console and have uh, games uh, forever prison to that. This but level that... is still going, by the way. Yeah, the question, Pedro. Why the fuck one of those multi guardians took like two solar heats to get defeated? I don't know. I don't. don't... No. I mean, even the tanks were more resistant, so... I... I... I don't... Mm. Mark... You were supposed to be the chosen one. You were supposed to bring balance to the Sony... Uh, to the Sony platforms, not destroy them! <sighs> oh, and now we're in Insanity Beads, because... Wait, what? Uh, uh, how, how did the well, plane how, No, here? no, no. How did we get higher up? A apparently, Whoa. we went all around and came back. Except we're higher. I don't understand oh. the geography of this place. Dwibs, what's going on? What? Wait, wait. Oh my god, Pedro, you just defeated the Guardian. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What the hell happened there? The rocks just popped crash. out of existence. I got a theory, I got a theory Jova. Wow. Crash changed the signpost and now knacks all the way back here. Oh, also, also, Pedro, you literally beat one of those... Well, it's something, it's something he'd do, wouldn't it? Yep. Also, Pedro, you literally beat one of those Guardians before that other Guardian popped out right behind you. So, yeah, that whole Guardian thing that was hyped up was just a mook. Yep. I'm back. It's kind of like in Quantum Break. And now I'm big. I'm back, and now engine? I'm big. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> She's looking good. Okay. So... He needs to pour in relics to power it up? Pick up the plane! Oh, oh. that's right, there you go. It, it was just so he could pick up okay. the plane and throw it. I think I know what really? next. Yes. That's right. This that's is the excuse... The, this, this is the best excuse that Mark could have sure for the existence of this level. He's gonna throw the plane. Run! <laughs> I was always... <laughs> 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 Are, we sure? Are we sure this is not a comedy? <laughs> I assure you guys, I didn't write this. <laughs> a lot of... Uh, we seem to find onto a lot of games that seem to have been written by this. And there you go, now he's gonna be small again. <laughs> oh, man. And there we go! Aren't you so glad that Mark decided to keep this in the game? Mm. Yeah, well, that, that, well, the that... Plot. Yes, game! I get it! He has we, a wife. No, you're not That's fooling like anybody, going. game! We're, you're not... Going mm. quiet Sorry, go ahead. Time. Oh, so now oh. you want to go in quietly. Uh... No, but remember... But, but, but guys, if, if I wrote this game, I'd have it so Goblin that... Goblin Factory. Um, I'd have it so that the I guy... Have a question. Sorry, a cruel no. joke. And tricks him into thinking that his wife's alive, and then just so, kills her right then and there. So, I have a question. Why couldn't we just fly straight to the Goblin Factory? Why was there even a plane accident at all? What purpose did that all have? I'm no. wasting my fucking time. You know what, you know what I also realized, Pedro? What? We essentially Mac, went through the Goblin's home, since this is the Goblin Factory. Yeah. So, oh, job. I, I, I'm sorry, I must interrupt you. Notice how the, the doctor throughout this entire game keeps constantly touching his back as in he has backache because old age he's or something. Too old for this. But that's just the thing. The game never really goes anywhere with that. It's just there. And since the it professor like has like... 
and, and since the prophet, the Doctor Vargas has only like what one minute of screen time in the second game, this entire thing goes nowhere. Go ahead, so, it looks like he's just scratching his ass. So yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna bring up a point here. We essentially went through the Goblin's home compared to the Goblin factory we're about to go through. So we have a scene where we finally get to see what life is like for the enemies, and it's wasted in a story-driven game. Cue the wasted the sound jingle from GTA V. Yeah. Ding! Uh, yeah, everybody. Uh, yeah. Is the worst yet to come in the next part, or is that two parts after? Uh, let's just say I'm gonna have a lot of writing to do when us. Everybody knows it. When Charlotte pops up alive. Oops. See you, everybody. See you. See you.